If you're one of the people that are watching this video, you're like me, you're a football fan. And as football fans, we sit there and we try to understand NFL strategy and what we think the coaches are doing and what we think they should do. We always sit there and try to predict plays maybe, or maybe like, oh, they should have ran, ran the ball here instead of passing, they should have passed instead of running. And one thing that happens a lot in NFL games is spikes, and I do not understand why. I think you need to stop doing spikes. It happened a lot in the playoffs this weekend, in the Bengals-Raiders game, and in the Dallas san francisco game and it's a very important question why spike it in the case in people spike it to stop the clock it's an incomplete pass lose it down stop the clock you know you're on timeouts and this raiders games i found it very interesting because raiders put together a really good drive to try to get back into this game and win it they need the touchdown to tie the game and they march on field great third down conversion here's another one for Eric Carr. played great in this game got the job done when they needed to you get the ball down to the nine you got 39 seconds when this play done you run up to spike it right by the time he spikes it, there's around like 25 seconds, a little more, I believe. Right, so he spikes it, boom, clock stops, 29 seconds left. Now you got three plays from the goal from 29 seconds. Why not just run a play? They like, in this game, they didn't run out of time, they ran out of downs. They turned the ball over on downs. If you don't spike it, and I'm not saying that you, and like this play right here, he took forever in the pocket. If you just take, if you, instead of spiking it, if you throw it up, like, take five extra seconds. Let's say they snap it with 24 seconds on the clock and run a play. You need nine yards and you have 24 seconds and four downs. That's, I'd rather 24 seconds to go nine yards with four downs than 29 seconds to go nine yards with three downs. Like, they ran out of downs here. They didn't run out of time. When this game ends, the fourth and goal, you got 17 seconds left. There's no, you're not, 17 seconds, you're plenty on time, right? Like, they have, with 24 seconds, let's say that's, we're going to go with 24. That's going to be the number, right? when I talk about how much time they would have had if they just, if they went for it normally. They, you snap the ball at 24, you t yell at everybody in your play, right? 24 seconds, you can, you could run the ball. You could run it and spike it after that. Or you could run it out of bounds. Or you could, you can take underneath routes. You can take the inside of the field. You can get slightly closer. Like this, they had a very nice drive. You get down and watch, watch the Raiders here. 39 seconds, they're running up, spike it this time. Like let's say they're using it to call play. I'm giving I'm giving them 15 seconds to come to the play here, and the time they spike it. So you get a snap off at 24. That play, let's say it's an incomplete pass like this here, and then you're second in goal from the same spot with 17 seconds left instead of third in goal. Like they did not run out of time. They ran out of downs. And having an extra down, who knows? Maybe you take a four yard out to Hunter Renfro, and it's second and third in goal with 15, 12 seconds. Third, let's say it's third in goal with 12 seconds left from the five. Isn't that a much better situation? There's so many more plays you can run when you only need five yards instead of nine. And just some of the plays they ran. Derek Carr's taking forever in the pocket. Like they and, and they still didn't run out of time. So why did you spike it? You had like they when Zay Jones called the first down on third and ten to get down to the nine yard yard. He th like that play was over with thirty nine seconds on the clock. So pretty much forty seconds you have to run up, call a play and figure it out. Like I was rooting for the Raiders this game. I'm a Clemson fan. I love Hunter Renfro. I think Derek Carr is a good quarterback. I'd like to see him succeed. And I'm fine with the Bengals winning. They deserve to win as well. But I just, I don't understand spiking it. The fake spikes, they're cool. I love watching that. I'm a Dolphins fan. Like I said, Dan Marino, that fake spike, it's amazing, right? It's such a cool play. But it's how many situations is the spike that necessary? Like, if you got to run on the field, spike it, stop the clock, and then go out and kick a field goal, perfect. You did it right. That's how you should execute the spike. But if you're going to spike the ball to come up and be, to score, like, let's say there's 10 seconds left, you get a first down, you spike it, two seconds left on the clock, and then you throw up a Hail Mary, whatever. That's the spike working. But to spike it, to save, to waste a down to stop the clock, like, I, I don't know. I feel like more games end. Teams lose more games because they run out of downs, because they couldn't convert on fourth down on, like, then times running out of, then teams running out of, time because they didn't pull off the spike you know what I mean? like that's just from my football watching experience and being a fan i that's just the way i see it let me know what you guys think i know it's not i'm not trying to ban the spike it's a good play you got to do it to stop the clock sometimes but sometimes it just doesn't make sense i do not agree with the way the raiders did it there i just i can't see with that much time i can't see giving up a down and i think downs are much more important than time because you gotta get Four downs to get 10 yards, that's a regular how it is. And the clock's the clock. 
like we saw Dallas when they were driving their little comeback that they tried to do. We don't know how that ended, but they got 40 yards in like 16 seconds. That was impressive. They moved the ball quickly, just quick little out routes. It does not take that much time to get that many yards. I just I have a problem with spiking in that situation, and I'm, I'm not a big fan of the spike. I'm going to avoid it as much as I can. I just I don't see it as I see it more harmful than it is effective. Let me know what you think.